Hey folks, it's, uh, it's early December 2012 and last year around this time of the year I built the Holes housing behind you and around I think it was January, February I put up a video showing you how I built it. Well I just finished building a hoop house uh, woodshed and I'm taking my Holes housing, the wood in the Holes housing, moving it into the woodshed and I'm opening it up and I thought maybe you'd like to see how it looks inside. I had several comments down below the Holzhausen video saying that the wood is going to be too wet, uh, it's not a good idea, so I want to just show you guys the results. This is what the Holzhausen looks like after one year. Now today we had some rain in the morning, uh, it was a, like a light rain up until about noon or so, it's now 3 o'clock, so it's a good day to show you how the Holzhausen looks after some rain. And I gotta say, I'm pretty surprised because what I'm noticing is that if you look at the wood, if you take a look at the wood, you can see that uh, maybe like the first four to six inches of the wood is wet, but the rest of it is completely dry. And if you look inside the pile here, I mean, this is some dry, you know, these are some dry logs. I don't want to knock the pile down on me. But I mean, this stuff is bone dry. There's, it's never gotten wet at all. So I gotta say that, uh, you know, whoever designed the Holes House and whatever culture it was, I, I believe it's European, uh, they, they certainly knew what they were doing. Would I burn this wood right away on the wood stove? The stuff in the middle, absolutely. The stuff on the outside here, where we've got a little bit of, you know, a little bit of water, Maybe I'd let it dry out for a week. Maybe I'd bring it by the stove. Uh, it's a very damp day. I mean, if it, if it hadn't rained today and it was maybe like below freezing, I suspect that this wood would be perfectly fine. Just bring it inside, warm it up, and burn it. So um, that's how the holes housing looks. And a, a couple other things I've noticed is if you take a look over here, uh, some creature, I don't know if that's a mouse or a squirrel, has got a very nice nest going here. And I've seen a couple others around. And then the other thing I found, I've lived on my property uh, for about 12 years in this house. I have not once seen a snake. When I was taking the wood off the pile at about this height, this is what I found on the pile. And I, I think that's a garter snake skin. But, uh, you know, I'm hoping that this guy has moved on and I don't bump into him. Uh, I wouldn't hurt him, but I just, uh, I'm kind of like Indiana Jones, snakes freak me out. So this is the results of the holes housing though. Uh, overall, I have to say it's a great idea. It works better than anticipated. Maybe what I would do is I, if I did it again is I would put some longer limbs about this high off the ground, uh, you know, like three or four footers and have them sticking out. And then maybe in October, put a tarp over the pile and just tie it to those limbs. But, uh, you know, even now, if, if it was the middle of the winter and it was dry and there wasn't like snow cover on it, uh, I would absolutely just take the wood off and burn it. Let me just do the universal test to show you how dry this wood is. Here's a couple logs I got from the outside of the pile. And you can see there, there's still a little bit of moisture on the outside of both of them. But if we take them and we bang them together, that's, that's pretty hollow, pretty dry, right? And here's a sound of some wood falling. I mean, it's, it's good wood. It's, it's definitely not wet and moist in there at all. I, that should just not be a concern whatsoever when you build a whole housing. So um, thanks for watching folks and uh, have a great day.